The next programming task is about split content. Split content is used to spare performance on each playback unit. In the setup phase I use the test pattern with the size of the whole canvas. This is possible but each side has to calculate the complete texture before being able to render out the small part which is displayed. Split content means that you slice the complete canvas into pieces, which are used by the single sides. This is a good method, for example, to play back a background video that doesn't change its position. Now please create a new queue on the sequence and add the first split texture to layer 1 of the second side. To find the exact position, you can have a look at the camera position parameter. Do not forget to use camera containers on the sequence part as well. You can use those values to exactly position the layer texture. Be aware that the camera offset parameter works in virtual to layer positions. Proceed with layer 2 and repeat those steps on side 3 and 4. The Pandora's Box Image Splitter is a helpful tool to generate splits from big video files. Please feel welcome to use this tool and make yourself comfortable by using the help file. A useful feature to speed up programming is the preset feature. All parameters can be stored in presets. You'll find presets as every resource in the project tab. They can be stored in subfolders limited to certain parameters or you can use a global subfolder to store all parameters together. To create a preset, please select all keys on the sequence which should be part of the preset. Then perform a right click and choose Create Preset. This method will store your selected key parameters into a global preset. Another method is to create presets via active values. Therefore, create some active values, then right click on the subgroup you want to use and click Create Preset. For example, Position, Rotation or Scale. You can find more detailed information about the different preset groups in the help file. After the preset is created, you can rename the preset to better recognize what it is used for. To recall the preset, select the layer, right-click the preset and press Paste keys into sequence selected devices. You can see preset keys which have a different appearance than normal keys are created on the null pointer's position on the selected layer. The other option, Apply to Parameter Selected Device, will only create active values of the preset to the selected devices. Storing these preset values to the sequence will create normal keys instead of preset keys. Please start now creating presets for the split texture positions to match the camera position. Doing that, you can use these presets to settle the texture directly to the wished camera and output. After creating the presets, please also create some containers using these presets.
The great benefit of presets instead of using the copy and paste function for keys is to adopt changes. Let's say after pre-programming you find another camera setup on site, which means you have to change the camera positions. I will for example change the X and Y position for the first camera. Now the preset top left has to adopt this new value. Therefore I change the X position key value of one preset instance. You can see all keys of this preset instance turn orange to signal differing values from the main preset instance. Now right click one of these keys and press update preset from instance. This command will take all parameter values of the selected instance and update the main preset. To check the result you can now jump the now pointer to different locations where this preset is used. All these containers have adopted the new values. Please also create presets for the camera positions. To have a better overview of all your outputs, the Preview tab offers a different view to watch all outputs at the same time. Therefore, please click on the blank page button and choose a multi-window view. Every window can now be applied to a different camera, output or the all cameras view. To have a good overview and the most used tools handy visible, you can rearrange the graphical user interface of Pandora's Box. Views are handled as every resource in Pandora's Box. To store the actual look of your interface, just right click on Views in the project tree and push Create View. Rename helps to identify different views. To change the actual view, the dark lines in between tabs can be dragged to change the size of so-called panes. Tabs can be pushed to different panes by drag and drop. Panes can be split, broken out or removed. After finding a suitable layout, you can store as many different views as you wish. To recall a view, just double-click the view. Another option is to create a Views tab. If you use multiple views and have always the Views tab in the same position, it is very easy to change. The most important thing is to make the user interface suitable for yourself. Side note: The device tree and the sequence tree tab cannot be changed, renamed or removed. To restore the default view, please right-click on Views and select Apply default view to tabs. At this point I want to recommend a completely different save and backup file approach which I found useful with Pandora's box. The main idea is that the show file and the name of the show will never change after creating the show file. That means the current show file will always have the same name. Instead of using the save as function to have a point to roll back, 
I recommend using the Save Project Copy function. You can see it like a show file export function, as it will save the project file to any location on your hard drive. The project bundle function is mainly meant to export the whole show, including content, to a backup location. However, your method of having backup files works. Saving your project at this point is crucial, as the next step will destroy all keys on the sequence. I also recommend to perform a save project copy, as this option will create a show file backup.